Welcome to Living Local. You guys are in for a treat this morning. We have Charles who's with us who you may recognize. Usually he's behind the camera for the show, but I told him he had to be in front of the camera this time <laughs> <laughs> because he created a film a couple years ago that won some awards and it's all about Adelia, which is over at Huntington Beach State Park. And I watched it and I said, this is so cool, this is so interesting. There's so many facts that I had no idea about growing up here. You gotta show it on Living Local. So. He's with us in front of the camera today <laughs> to chat about kind of the process and how, how it got started. So what made you decide to do a documentary on Adelia? Originally, I, I wanted to make a documentary film, but I had no clue of what to do. And someone had asked me, had, had, you know, they knew I was a photographer. They said, hey, have you ever been to Adelia Castle? I was like, no, where is it? And uh, so once they told me, I did some research on how to get down there. Um, I took my drone and I originally took my camera, but I took my drone as well. Never go, with, never leave home without it, right? <laughs> and uh, so they, once I got there, I started taking pictures and I walked around and toured a little bit. And I got the idea of flying the drone around and getting some aerial shots. And that's when I asked one of the park rangers, would you mind if I do this? And if I do, you can have the photos, just you know, let me do this. And they were like, sure. Great. Let me. Can we watch? You know, this is cool. Drones were kind of new at this point in time. Right. You know, and that's what we did. And then once I did that, that's the light bulb went off. That was my eureka moment. Sure. And uh, and so that was in 2015. 2015. Where you kind of started. You had the idea to yeah. start this documentary. I had the idea, but I had no clue of what to do. I've never <laughs> filmed anything. I I wanted to. I had it in my head. And obviously, trying to make something in your head out and tangible for other people to see is sometimes difficult. Sure. So it started off all backwards. I started shooting before I even interviewed or I even had a story. So I was learning on the job, learning how to edit, learning how to film, and learning how to tell a story. When it goes through kind of, it goes through Adelia Castle, but it also goes through the Huntingtons and kind of Correct. who they were as people, their right. story of meeting, which I also love as well. And so um, the film is called Adelia, the History of the Watchtower. Correct. Okay, perfect. Well, you guys take a look, hope you enjoy. Archer Huntington was the son of Collis P. Huntington. Collis P. Huntington owned three different railroads as well as Newport News shipping yards uh, up in New England. Um, he was a part of the big three railroad race to get the first transcontinental railroad. So with the wealth that Archer Huntington's parents had accumulated, Archer was able to travel all around the globe as a young child. And he fell in love with the Spanish language, the Spanish architecture. He really fell in love with that. So that is really where our story starts, is with Archer's love of really everything Spanish. So during Archer Huntington's tours as a young child, really all, all around the globe, he learned very much from his travels. He uh, did a lot of translations of different books from Spanish to English. Um, and he really was very influential in uh, literacy uh, with really Spanish to English translations in America. Through Archer's associations with the art scene in New England, he came across an artist named Anna Hyatt. Anna Hyatt was an animalier. That is a type of artist that does their work, or she was a sculptor. She did all her sculpting mostly of animals. And so during the Great Depression, during this time that, that Archer is very involved with the arts uh, and you know culture scene in New England, he uh, is coming across this, uh, this lady who's one of the foremost artists in America. 
During the Great Depression, Anna Hyatt Huntington was making over $50,000 just from her art. So these, uh, these two socialites in New England who were both very independently wealthy started realizing they had several things in common. They would run into each other on train rides, and it was said that Archer had proposed to Anna several times before she actually said yes. 